All right, we are ready to dive into creating our Scratch quiz game or vocabulary game, whatever you want to make it. The first thing we need to do is to go to scratch.mit.edu. And once you go to scratch.mit.edu, you can certainly explore the homepage here where you can try out Scratch. This will take us to the Create uh, page. You can see examples and join Scratch, and of course, it's free. Uh, notice up here in the top right corner, you can get signed in if you already have an account, or you can join Scratch. So if you are new to Scratch, you definitely want to click Join Scratch. You can create a Scratch username, and notice it says, do not use your real name. That's smart advice. You can choose a password and confirm your password. Because this is a Scratch-only account and not like your, your Gmail account or a Facebook account or Instagram or something like that, it may be easy to forget how to log in. So please do make sure that you write down your username and your password to get into Scratch. I already have a Scratch account, so I'm gonna click sign in. And let me get logged in really quickly. Okay, now that I'm logged in, I notice you can see um, some what's happening and Scratch News, and of course you have access to all the featured projects and studios. Definitely take a minute to explore that. I'm gonna go straight to create, because I'm ready to create our game. And once we are here, we are now in the editor where we can build our game. I wanna take a minute and just explore this interface. So what we have here is the stage. This is where we can preview what it is that we're coding. Down at the bottom, you have your sprite list. and the middle, you have a block, a block palette. And notice that the blocks are divided into 10, ten categories right here. Uh, you also have tabs for scripts, costumes, and sound. And this area over here is gonna be your scripts, costumes, and sounds editor. So for right here, for example, you can see on the right-hand side, we are editing that costume. What we need to do next is to go ahead and name our game and go ahead and delete the sprite that's on here. We can do that right now. So where it says Untitled 2 at the top, let's go ahead and give our game a name. I'm gonna call mine Quiz Game. You can call yours whatever you want. If it's a science vocabulary game, for example, you can do science vocabulary. And I need to get rid of the sprite right here. So I'm gonna right click on it and choose delete. And notice it also deleted down here in the sprite list and all the block coding that was associated with it is also gone. So now we have a clean slate to be able to start our game. In the next video, we are gonna create backgrounds for our game. See you in the next video.